We're live. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody, and welcome back to Misspent Youth, the Shadowcasters presenting the game of Teenage Rebellion in an effed up future. And we have with us the, uh, I don't know, did we give ourselves a name? Are yourselves a name? I think we're just the, the misfit kids. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we don't have a we don't have a team name yet. I don't think. Yeah. Nah, no, no. Maybe that'll be one of our goals. But the authority of which I am playing is the Unity of All. They are a utopian uh, religious group that seeks to erase progress. They uh, have invented a plague to keep its victims in check, and these kids have endured the plague and have come out the other side. Uh, with various superpowers. And now they are going to uh, try to see if they can't not only escape and survive, but maybe even take down the unity of all. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, you're like, you're like the uh, the master of Twitch. Do we introduce ourselves? Yeah. Is that do like what we want. should do? Do whatever you want. Okay. This is your show, man. There are no rules. Fuck rules. <laughs> 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 Since I'm the authority, I'm going to have you all give wow. your name and tell us what you can do. We'll start from uh, the top left. Cliff, why don't you tell us about your character before we get started? All right, sure. I'm Bell Truth, a 15-year-old pirate podcaster and a radio broadcaster here to let you know exactly what's going on with the world. It's not as you think it is. Don't believe the unity of all. They're trying to stop our our progress so that we are going to be completely defenseless when the aliens arrive with their with their attack ships. So it's really important that we band together and throw off this 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 weird religion that uh, certainly has some sort of extra ter ter extraterrestrial origin and take back our world from the unity. There you go. Excellent. Next up. We have, uh, who's next? I don't have Twitch up. Who's next? Cassie. Oh, I should Cassie. mention my, my superpower is, is zapping things. Yay. Next up is Cassie. So yeah, um, I am unity, not the unity of all, apparently not anymore because I got the the crying eyes. What are we calling that again? I don't remember. Anyways, I got sick. Tears of Unity. I got the Tears of Unity, even though I wasn't supposed to, because I'm like, you know, my, my parents were very high up in the Unity of All, and this wasn't supposed to happen to me, but it did, and they abandoned me. And uh, I have, uh, I, I guess I got caught with uh, reading too many of the uh, quote-unquote alternate histories of the past. Which uh, I discovered that they are um, changing the path, changing all the history books to reflect a uh, truth that isn't true. So uh, now I'm fighting against it. And what's oh. your superpower? I have an eidetic memory. I, I remember everything that I read, all of it, including your journal, Opti. <laughs> <laughs> all right, next up is Katie. I am Alice, the scientist anarchist. I have all of the papers prove what's going on is absolute fucking horse shit. I can prove it with, with, with math that this is all completely asinine. Um, but the irony was is I came into this as the poster child of Unity of All. Mm -hmm. High purity rating. I was basically the person that everybody wanted to be until... I got the tears of unity, and now I'm just busy lighting hospitals on fire. <laughs> it wasn't your fault. You just got upset. No, it was totally your fault. Yeah, it was totally my fault. <laughs> and Oz. Okay. Hi, everybody. I'm Oz. I play Strike, the 17-year-old graffiti artist. He's a bad kid. He's been scapegoated by his parents. He... You know, when he he gets pissed off, he throws it up on a wall and has it seen by as many people as possible before it can get taken down. Um, he's a little shit starter. He's sneaky, and uh, and yeah, and his superpower is he has chameleon camo, so he can like just kind of hide in a place and just blend in. And 
where we left off was the uh, the youth had broken away from the hospital wing they were in. Uh, Nurse Angelica Blanche was trying to stop them, uh, and Goody Blanche was not able to, thanks to uh, an outbreak of fire, uh, thanks to one of our teens. Uh, then they escaped and went looking for help in the form of their family, but instead simply found a family willing to turn them in to the authority. Uh, they were able to convince their family to hold off on that and in the process made discoveries. The discoveries were that there is a organization called the Lord's Wrath that is recruited. Uh, they all have superpowers. They all have gone through the same process of being infected with um, the plague and they've come out un not not cured but, but changed. So they have superpowers and they're called the Lord's Wrath. They do the dirty work. Um, and they all have bloodshot eyes, but no tears of unity uh, because you are immune to the wages of sin. Your parents were going to ship you off there, but uh, but something happened and they weren't able to. So that's where scene one and scene two went. Now we're in scene three. And I believe, who did we say? Cliff was going to choose uh, the opening for this, for this scene. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, and if I might add, a really big reveal that happened at the end of last time is that we found out that there are others that have these powers that were survivors that have been recruited by the church. Yes, that was a big reveal. Yeah, that's the, the Lord's Wrath. Though. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. And that uh, Alice was supposed to be uh, uh, brought in with them. So I'm going to go on her uh, friendship question to me. Which is why aren't I broadcasting her truth? Ooh. Oh. My answer to that is that I have doubted her scientific claims. It may not quite jive with my uh, narrative that aliens are, are causing this. So, Okay, and so sometime during this scene, we're going to try to tease out that question and, and uh, kind of get that out in the open or have that somehow uh, affect the scene that we're in. So Cliff, how does the scene open? Uh, we, we've obviously had that big reveal, and it can be any time in the uh, in the future. You know, five minutes or five weeks or whatever. Okay, how about maybe five days? Okay, we've uh, we've been we 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 stayed with uh, we stayed with. Um, sorry, I should jump into what's happening now. We're all in a car. It is a. Um, it is a station wagon that is owned by Alice's parents. We saw it in the Hi, driveway in the last episode. And um, let's see. Who's currently driving? I'm 15, so I haven't gone through driver's ed yet. Probably Strike. 19. Yeah. I, I can see it. Yeah, he's probably driving. Okay, so Strike at the wheel. Like uh, who, who's, who's riding shotgun? Me. <laughs> okay, and then we get Unity and Belle on the back seat. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you're, you're driving down the road, and it is late at night. We've been uh, traveling from one place to another, trying to find a safe place on the run, and uh, finding ourselves uh, running into some trouble one, one way or the other. So it opens with, uh, I guess, Strike commenting on uh, how we just got away from the last thing, and uh, and then... Just as that happens, a police car will be arriving, uh, sort of pulling up behind us. M maybe they are suspicious Jack. of us, maybe not. Okay. Jack was a little lead-footed. And it's not a police <laughs> car, of course. It's the, um, I'm sorry, I forget the name of the organization that... The Unity the Hall or the Lord's yeah. Wrath. It or... would be the super-powered ones at this point. Uh, we're talking about regular cops. Um, okay. They're just called <laughs> the Lord's enough. Wrath. Then we call know. them the Deacons? Oh, Did the we? Deacons, yes. Yes, okay, we'll call them the Deacons. Took the Deacons car that's behind us about a half a block away. Okay. And are the, are the, are this, is this Deacon car um, coming at you specifically, or is it just behind you? We don't know yet. It's just sort of turned uh, from a side road, and it, it might be following us. It's late at night, too late for teenagers to be out and about, for sure. And, and where are you headed? We're looking for a safe place. Um, We're going to Canada. We've been uh, <laughs> from one spot to another. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah. At yeah, this point, uh, we're, we're, we've been sort of 
meandering through the, the countryside, not quite sure what to do. We've been scared and trying to stay out of the um, out of the eye of the authority. And the few days of travel without being able to like stay in hotels or in a bed, a roof overheads, and a lot of times sleeping in the car, it's it started to take a toll on us. Hmm. All right. So road trip. Let's see. Road Starting trip. to take a toll on somebody's bo in the car. That's for sure. Young preteens and teenagers <laughs> going into puberty without a steady supply of uh, deodorant. Oh. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Taste it. Rank. Who knows? It's, it's miles away. We're low on our food and resources, out of deodorant, and it's it's late at night. We're driving, uh, just trying to look for a place to sort of stop for the night and get some rest. And then this this deacon's car is behind us. That's where we'll start. And All right, stri- so there's a deacon's car behind you, and um, and and you have been driving. You're tired. You're hungry. Uh, you're smelly, and um, <laughs> now and now you've got. Uh, a representation of the authority's power behind you. Fuck. What's going on? Yeah, Strike Strike sees it in the rearview mirror and he's like, shit, everybody act cool. Be what, cool. Bell, what is it? Bell what? sits up in the seat all of a sudden. It's a fucking Deacon car, man. But, what, 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 were we fucking speeding? Like, did, did, are, are you making us obvious here? Like, dude, come no, on. No, hey, I don't... <laughs> Then, then just know. keep driving until the fucking lights come on. They ain't pulling us over. All right. Getting closer. Yeah. Uh. Uh. I'll. Where exactly? <laughs> like, are we in somewhere urban or are we somewhere rural? Like, are we out in the desert? Desert road or like? I mean, are we in maybe a... urban-ish. I would say urban-ish. It's would a be small good. Town. Maybe like, suburban. Yeah, suburban. maybe we're like small we're town. we're cruising for a, a strip mall that doesn't have any lights that are working. And, so and <laughs> they can park are, in their parking lot. I'm sorry, what? How are you dressed? Uh, uh what? Probably well, whatever see. we, we had, could grab. From. Yeah, whatever we could grab from Alice's place, right? Because yeah. nothing that would fit a guy your age i mean i'm a 15 year old girl i mean unless you well then again if we're the whole unity stuff it'll be a lot of like ankle length skirts and you know (laughs) blouses with no cleavage or anything like that i'm sure the i'm sure her father had some stuff that um that would fit really fucking baggy on them too yeah yeah so, uh, you notice that the Deacon car is getting closer, and uh, it looks like it's going to move. Uh, no lights or anything, it's not asking you to pull over, but it does seem to be moving ahead and pulling to the side as it makes its way up. Maybe wants to get a better look at who is in the car. I find the very first left that I can find and turn on my driver <laughs> and slowly like just try and <laughs> peel away from it <laughs> all right so he's trying to get a look at the car everybody down wait, and, wait, uh, wait, wait. i'm just gonna slouch down my seat he drives oh. by but you do hear him kind of slow down and you can and there's a gear shift and you can hear him pulling and, and going in reverse <laughs> you guys have got maybe 10 seconds of uh of of time where they can't see you okay um do we pull into a driveway and turn out the lights i don't know like are we at night or right. during the day it's yeah at night I, this is at night like after midnight right, right we're, yeah, we're too late time. we shouldn't be out okay. uh what's around us what do we see I'm gonna call for struggle. Okay. Ah! <laughs> oh, God, oh, God. So, here's what I want. I want uh, you all to be identified not only as teenagers, but uh, I want the the deacons to see your uh, tears of unity and uh, or your your red eyes that mark you as as former tears havers, and uh, and I want them to uh, arrest you. And, and okay. bring you in for questioning. Ah, um, well, we want to um, find a strip mall. That's what we want to do. Find an abandoned to... strip mall. And, and 
Yeah. You want to find a, a safe place. A safe yeah. not just to... Not just get away or find a struggle, but a place where we can be safe and uh, where we can be lay low. Yeah, sure. maybe a base or a safe house. Okay. And that uh, should take the form of a strip mall, if at all possible. Okay. <laughs> I'm thinking a car Small chase rats. is going to happen. We've got seconds until uh, uh, until the Deacon, uh, the Deacon car squad car uh, sees you. Who's going to stand up? Uh, I'll, stand up. I'll stand up. I'll stand up. Okay. okay. Roll those dice. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Nine. Not bad. Okay, um, so I am going to reach into the, uh, the small backpack that I, I took from Alice's, uh, house, and I'm gonna pull out, a uh, concealer that I took from her mom, and I'm gonna be like, quick guys, we need to hide our eyes, that way in case they come up, they, they don't see the red. So yeah. She makes a good point. Okay. So you're going to uh, hide your eyes, uh, so just in case they see you, yes. uh, it's not going to be as big of a deal as it is. At night, they can't see the mismatch of uh, skin color. <laughs> that's <laughs> Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> so everybody kind of gets a, 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 a real quick... Glob. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I just, like, I take the tube and I squirt, like, a, a bunch onto everybody's, like, you know, hand, finger, wherever, just like really quick. Smear it. Nice. Just smear it. <laughs> Don't do your own. We'll Don't help each it. other. Oh. Shit. Shit. So in the back seat, <laughs> Bell's, uh, Bell's, Bell's putting it on Unity's eyes, and uh, hopefully Unity's putting it on his eyes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I've got gonna fix, eyes gonna eyes. fix. <laughs> like you got a little bit like right there, it's like you're trying to watch the road, and like, hey, a little bit right there. Stripe, right. might be, Stripe might be a little bit blushing right now. Oh. <laughs> Some manner of, uh, of, of of makeup covering. covering <laughs> and the uh, the Deacon car pulls back out know, and, and looks down the alley, and now it's kind of got the uh, flashlights out, and they're they're pointing. They find you. They see uh, where you are in the alley, and they, uh, they exit their cars, and they start walking now towards you. Oh boy! Oh boy! Okay, uh, I'll stand up. Oh wait, are you just, are you claiming numbers? No, that was just gonna claim a seven and then some other number on the left seven side. Seven and four. Oh crap! <gasps> yeah, he, he's he's going up higher. Uh, Those are good so reminder though to our audience: uh, every time that our stream boss is defeated, you can hand a block or a reroll to the authority or the click or both. If you so choose. Help us. Help. <laughs> Help <laughs> us, please. We have nothing. Um, and all right. So, yeah. So I stand up. So let's roll this. Come on. No. Four. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, fuck. God damn it. Oh, no, too early. Oh, no. <laughs> so they, uh, they get up to the car and... Uh, it looks like oh, it looks like they're, they're probably not going to buy this. Looks yeah. like uh, well, they, they see the weird makeup and the kids, and they're just like, "What is this?" Yeah, we've already sold out two times already in the first. Day. <laughs> I think it's okay to maybe like it wouldn't be the worst thing if we didn't sell out and we actually got arrested and had to escape somehow. I don't know. I'm oh, just saying, terrified. but it's up to you, Oz. Strike. Are you going to sell out? Or is somebody uh, gonna give us a cheer to help us defeat the stream boss for a reroll? Uh, it's, oh, it's too late. It's too late. It's too late. But but thank you to Avenzi though. Let us know who you want to support: Authority, Click, or both. Um, oh my gosh! All right, let's see. Oh, yeah. So if I I just want to see what happens if I sell any of these out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Perverse, nihilistic, or untrustworthy. Mm. Um, Go full perverse. Join me in the revelry of lighting shit on fire. <laughs> authority, <laughs> fuck you guys. Authority just got. <laughs> authority just got a uh, block. The fuck the, you. You're sleeping on the couch right. tonight, you asshole. Oh, man. <laughs> all right. So I will not. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna. Um. So I don't know if I'm gonna sell out. Okay. 
So the um, I think I legitimately think that the camouflage is going to work. Okay. The deacons um, explain to you uh, once again. They 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 see who you are. You're out past curfew. You have weird kind of odd makeup on, uh, and they are they are investigating or what they were investigating was some graffiti. Uh, no, no, I'm sorry, not graffiti. They wanted to investigate uh, the source of a pirate broadcast, uh, and that's what they're that's what they're talking about. Um, like, hey, do you guys know anything about this, this sort of uh, this sort of weird pirate broadcast that that uh, is encouraging people to to uh, rebel and to and to question the unity of all? Have you heard anything about that? You look like the kind that would listen to that garbage. I don't have a radio to listen yeah. to anything ever. Well, what about any of you? No, I mean. We're not supposed to be listening to traitors filth like that anyway, so I don't know what's what you're like even a, talking I'm like, about. I've got like a death grip right now on Bell's like leg, just like don't do it then. Don't, don't do it. I have, <laughs> I'm like I am gripped onto the steering wheel, ready to just like take off at a moment's notice. Well uh, what, gonna what work, about, but it's what it's not it's garbage, it's the truth! No! Oh, oh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, okay. So just like, can, you, can you believe this, Frank? Uh no, Al, I don't I don't Well let's get him out of the car and, and let's bring him back to the uh let's bring him uh, to the uh, the fellowship hall and, and we'll no. So uh, they, they bring you out. They they you know uh He doesn't know you, what he's talking about They put you in hand uh, he's crazy. They put you in their car. Uh, they 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 drive you, and they're driving you back. They put you. The, the back of the deacon's car is big enough. Um, it's sort of like a hearse, uh, and so you guys are all sat in the back together. Um, and 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 you're you're now on the way to the um, the fellowship hall, where you know people are um, uh, are are questioned. And uh, the truth eventually. Tortured. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so now, I mean, like, why, you know, Bell? Why did you, why did you uh, open your mouth, man? <laughs> I, I. They were talking about it as garbage like that. They just, they didn't believe. They just bought that. Never mind. I just. I, I don't know, all right? I just couldn't hold it in. We just got away from there. Oh, man. We're so close uh, to finding on. a place. You really think they would have let us go? I think... I, I don't know anymore. I just don't want to go back there. Why are they even taking us? I burned down the last place. How far away are we from the last place? Did we make it at least a town over? Yeah, you guys are not in, in your hometown anymore. Okay. Oh, it, that means that maybe they won't recognize us. Maybe we uh, should use some of that, you know, firepower. Why did we let them arrest us? Why, why does your truth take precedence over everything else, dude? Like, honestly, we're sitting here. The cops are on us. You, you know what the truth. actual truth? Your you radio truth. just got us arrested! Yet you're busy broadcasting that you've made us a target! Why can't you shut up about your truth? Why, why, why can't, why can't we talk about the actual truth here? And what's uh, really going truth. on? It's the truth, okay? It's not the only truth! How many freaking sides does a coin have? More than one! Why does it always have to be your side? But besides, what are you talking about? I'm on your side. Aren't we all on the same side? We're against- We just got fucking arrested because of your truth. All right, guys, just fucking so, chill uh, out, all right? We got so, arrested because the unity of all is an oppressive force that's taking over our entire civilization. Because of fucking aliens. 
No, so, it's not because they have a virulent plague that they're spreading around to all of us and trying to kill us all that are non-believers. That's just the means, that's one of the means by which they, they use it. It's, they were provided the, the, the RNA blueprints to design the virus through extraterrestrial transmissions. But, but that's not important, okay? What's important <laughs> is what they're doing to us. What, and what, what I can find a ourselves. way to stop them. We just need to get the actual truth out there. And that's Find what I'm talking about. We got to, That's the only thing we have, right? We don't have guns. We don't have knives. We don't have a super virus weapon we can use against we people don't, that we don't like. We don't know anything. All we have is the truth. We don't know anything. You know, we, 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 we think we have some truths, but we don't, we don't know. We don't know. We don't know why we the hell we're know. like this. We don't, so the know. Way, we don't know why the way we survived. The this scene is um, there is dissent among the youths they are mm -hmm. they are not coming together they have a uh some fundamental disagreements among themselves that uh that may end up hampering their ability to work together and that's where we're going to end scene three. Oh. <laughs> oh my god oh my god uh, scene four uh oz you're going to tell me who is next uh cassie's next oh me Ooh. All right, so Cassie, you yeah. are going to choose either an authority figure or uh, one of the friendship questions. Okay. And this scene is the we won scene where we think we got away with it? Yeah. Okay. But we, we think we got away with it, but we just got arrested. arrested? I, I, you know, ideally, you should... You should try to win this scene. Okay, okay, okay. You can, you can gotcha. set it up. Yeah, we can set it up in a way yeah. where it's it's to our benefit. Got so it. Do. Okay. Um, Still, as with every scene, you lose the struggle, something bad happens. You've been arrested is the struggle. Today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can uh, light the car on fire. So but I you, think... can, uh, you can you can you can skip way ahead and tell us how you got out of it, or you can put us into the fellowship hall, or we can Ooh. be. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I think I would like to see us escape one more time because I think that will be fun. I don't know unless you guys are <laughs> unless you guys are over escape. I kind of want to. Yeah, I kind of. I kind of want to see what happens in the fellowship hall. Yeah, because we we technically weren't identified. No, we yeah. were just yet. Yeah. Yeah, they don't so, know it's us. Hope. So I am going to say that uh, we'll, Although, we'll use, and we can use the authority figure of the deacons since that's kind of like an anonymous kind of thing. Since we don't know anybody here, if you if we wanted to use that as a thing, and then um, I would say, uh, this is while they they have taken us in to the fellowship hall. And uh, they uh, are right now um, trying to uh, identify uh, us, uh, and they've figured out that we are not uh, locals. So they have to reach out to the hot, like the network of fellowship halls to find out where these four wayward children belong. And so they've left us in a. Uh, what, what would you call it? Like, they, let, they put us in a room, and we're there. Uh, there's, uh, like, there might be somebody... I don't know if the door's locked, but there's definitely somebody outside the door. And we are uh, still arguing. <laughs> the, 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 the two of them have just decided that to uh, agree that both of the truths are valid, and we just have to find a way to integrate them together so we can get out of this it all, all in one piece. Okay, so you're sitting in the fellowship hall. You're you're handcuffed, uh, maybe to the to the chairs, um, and one by one, they've they've told you, you know, because they they believe they're right. So they are giving you exactly what they're going to do to you. They're not trying to hide anything. They're saying uh, we're going to take each one of you into the confession booth, and we're going to get you to confess. Uh, to what you were doing and to uh, what you know about this pirate radio and to uh, also, now that we've gotten a better look at you, uh, what's up with your eyes and why you seem to have um, the tears of unity, but you, but you're not, your eyes aren't bleeding. So like they, they now have all sorts of questions for you. And one by one, they are going to start taking you into the confession booth. But right now they have begun calling 
um, the the parishes, uh, the local parishes, to see if they can't get uh, uh, a better idea of who you are. But so you're alone. You're all tied to chairs, but you can communicate. We all have our backs to each other. Like it's like in the circle. middle of a room. Circle. Yeah, yeah you a circle. Oh, like, like lamp at the top that's just kind of slowly swinging <laughs> and like flickering. <laughs> yeah, right. you hear the water drop in the background from the leaky you're, pipe. You're, the the fellowship hall is actually very clean. It's where they also have potlucks uh, uh, every once in a while. And so <laughs> they, it, everything's very pleasant. Yeah, Over, like, <laughs> fucking <laughs> happy torture here. Like it's gonna be great. Yeah, we're gonna it's, feed it's not, you. <sighs> we're gonna take care of you. We're gonna give you a hot shower, and then we're gonna start pulling your nails out one by one. <laughs> <laughs> you've always wondered what happens in the confession booths because uh, you've never we've, you've, always, we've, you've always confessed freely. No, you you don't know what happens when when people don't confess. So you're all uh, used to sitting in a room like this to to sit down and eat mashed potatoes and turkey, and now uh, now you're all handcuffed. Back, back. <laughs> Oh my! Oh my gosh! Fuck! Are we alone in this room? In this hall? Yes, right now you are. I think. Do we? Do we just burn this place down? <laughs> More burning! <laughs> I mean, we're, we're in handcuffs. <laughs> we're, we're in handcuffs. We're in we can't right look, we can't. look, I can just melt the handcuffs, maybe. Uh, A little bit. I melt don't them. know. Can you? Uh, I don't know. Can you? Are you close okay. to my skin? Yeah, I don't. I don't really I feel, feel comfortable. Your hands are really close to my hands. I don't really feel comfortable. <laughs> I really fire. don't. Yeah. Okay. You have a like a small metal object, like a pin or a a paperclip or something. No. Get it but... to me. I I think I can pick one of these. Maybe they're pretty um, simple mechanisms. If I could, I can't even get my hands up to my hair. If I had a pin or any kind of. Would strike Catch the would chair strike here. Maybe have a pin because he he needs it to like poke out the yeah the the paint in the in the graffiti. Can oh yeah, for his yeah, yeah 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 yeah. All right, I'll do that. I'll um I'll I'll dig around like the back of my jacket where I'm where I, like uh, uh, and, like it's just off to the side and I like I'm rotating so my arms. I, and see, I'm just, like, I see what he's trying to do and it. I like I lean my my over just enough to like pull the jacket back so he can fish it put his hand where it needs yeah. to go to get the pin and like and i look behind me as best as i can and i can't really see my own handcuffs but i can see uh eeny, meeny, miny, moe. <laughs> just roll a d4 and in, in, in just roll a d4 <laughs> hey, while, while really we're working, working on hands. getting this out and picking someone's uh locks um, i'm gonna say it okay but while well, working on that, I think we can get out of these handcuffs, but what next? We need to start thinking more steps ahead, because this last time when we just took off with the, well, with the, with the we're wagon, in a we didn't know hall. where to go. We're in a community hall, right? I mean, aren't all of them built the same way? Can't we just find our way out like our regular ones that we would all attend? I don't know. I've never and been to what? another one. I don't know. Ah, oh, sh- uh. Uh, uh, and I'm just like picking at Cassie's handcuffs, Ow. and then I, f- shit, sorry, you poked me. Ah. Sorry, sorry. Okay, hold on. I think it's something like that, and you and uh, Unity feels her. Yes. Her handcuffs just pop. All right, so I I bring my hands like forward, and then I realize like oh I'm gonna keep like just kind of keep them kind of behind me for a second because like like I need some to check the door uh to make sure nobody's coming in before I go to it's like I don't know how to pick a lock I don't know how to just your barricade do we have a way to barricade the door <gasps> so just as you're having that thought you hear footsteps coming in through the double doors or Shit. coming approaching the double Act doors at cool at cool they're coming P- pretend you still have their handcuffs on Okay. Shit. Uh, the door opens, and there are three deacons, uh, or I should say, two deacons, and what looks to be a, a pastor, who are now uh, coming in. And the pastor looks uh, looks you over and asks your names. Eduardo Enriquez. Okay. I'm from Chicago. Are you? 
All right. What about the rest? I'm called Nunya. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> you might as well just said see more butts, asshole. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Nunya. Real funny. What about you, ladies? Do you wanna do you wanna choose the uh, righteous path, or do you wanna give a? Uh, the only really righteous path is my fucking foot up your ass. Piss off. Look at that. Uh, you did well to bring these uh, these offenders uh, to me, gentlemen. Um, what about you, Miss? You look like you don't belong with these with these creatures of the of the devil. I'll fucking show you a creature, you piece of <laughs> shit. Behind me, Satan. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I am unity. Unity. Well, that is. I am the unity of all. Oh. (laughs) Get fucking wrecked. I can see that this is not going to go the way we want. So, uh, how about you, Missy, the one that can't keep your mouth shut? Why don't you come with us? And the two deacons Uh come to, uh, to grab you, and and they are now walking you into uh, a discussion booth off to uh, this on the corner. Ooh, I'm gonna stand out the there. The room and the, the um, <laughs> oh wait, what? Well, sorry, I'll take the confession booth is in the corner of the fellowship hall, so you so you can kind of you can kind of see the the whole uh, the whole box, uh, but you can't see inside. So they are they are now taking you, uh, you know, kind of quite forcefully. They're not being oh, gentle. I'm gonna fucking. Wait, wait, wait. So they're taking her, right? So, yeah. um, if they take her, that's one less person that we have to get, her, and then and they'll be distracted with her. If... Yeah, yeah, <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna call for a struggle. Beautiful. So if they're distracted by her, I'll then be we can... distracted. All right, in about five fucking seconds here. The second I stand up, yeah. yeah. So, provided. So <laughs> what they want uh, is to. Uh, and I, I don't want to reveal this yet, but what they want is to use their techniques to get one of you to talk about the truth, to tell the truth uh, about who you are and and what you're trying to do and and what your experiences have been. Uh, what do you guys want to happen? I think we're probably still going to stick yeah, to the last one, right? Where we want to get a base. Yeah, right? I think that. Yeah, we want to find. We want to um, find a, a safe place where we can like regroup and and then figure out how to find these uh the uh the others like us and stop this plague of the tears of community. <laughs> Palmer Palmer has a good one. Take this place. Yeah, oh, right. <laughs> if we have a choice in a couple minutes. <laughs> um, <laughs> that could be a, that could be an interesting how that goes. <laughs> but right now um uh, Alice is being taken into this confession booth. Who's going to stand up? None of y'all are going to stand up. I'm going to stand up first, and this is going to get real fucking... I can't physically oh. stand. All right. <laughs> okay. okay. All right, so Alice, roll your dice. Here goes something. Six. That's not bad. Mm-hmm. So, I am gonna get angry, struggle, thrash, throw my little tiny body weight around, not fucking happy, and I start to feel that heat burning in again, like at the hospital. What what conviction are you going to use? Oh, I am going to be using my, um, so I guess, quick question then, so do I have to use my means, motive, and opportunity first before I can use my ML? Uh... No, at this point, since since you don't have to sell out any of them, you, you know this one's going to work. Uh, you can oh. choose what you want. I'm using my MO then. My okay, pyrotechnics. pyrotechnics. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I'm angry. I No, I'm not stopping burning stuff, Palmer. Shut up. So, <laughs> that's not happening. I'm angry. Like, I'm straight up angry again, and that anger is burning like it was at the hospital. I'm not putting up with this shit. This is horse shit. Y'all ain't taking me into that fucking booth. I don't know what's in there. And I start to feel like 
heat just emanate from my skin so, so, so hot that mm. it would probably be a bad idea to keep holding on. Not necessarily burning anything, but like starting to generate a lot of heat and starting to almost kind of glow as heat waves start pouring off of my body. Okay, so like, this causes them to recoil back, uh, and they don't know what's going on. Like they 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 are, are a little bit scared. They're afraid. Like like most authoritarian uh, people don't understand what's going on, so they recoil and they look to the pastor, and the pastor very very confidently just walks up and says i know what this is and i know how to stop it and he pulls out something out of his back pocket and it, like some sort of vial of something and he he opens it up and he starts throwing it in your direction and this this it looks like water but it hurts uh when it when it lands on you and you it's it's not that it's quenching that fire but it's almost like your fire is making it worse. There's something going on. There's some kind of reaction that is causing you to to really uh, hurt as a result, and you're not you're not thinking clearly. Um, the fact that he has this on him tells you that it probably isn't just uh, a, a weapon against fire, but there's something go something else going on that he was either prepared for this or he just has something that makes people feel pain all the time. But either way, he's using it on you. It's and, not bueno. Uh, and and he now looks around to, to see if he needs to use it on somebody else. Who's going to stand up? I'm going to stand up. Actually, let me let me put my numbers there on the uh, on the thing. Seven and give me twelve as well. Uh, Are you taking care of this, or from now on? Uh, I can. No, I can't. I'm not logged in. <laughs> no, I'm not. Okay, I got it. You just, you just do such a good job. <laughs> there you go. Sounds oh. like a lazy excuse, Opti. <laughs> I got a six. <laughs> yes! <laughs> That's what Although it already table. does have a block if they oh. so choose. Ooh. Oh, no. Let me Damian. use my fucking fire. Yeah, let's use our... You know what? Let's not use our reroll. Let's save our reroll for the next scene. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna sort of double down on her use of her pyrotechnics and just go, "No, you keep that away from her!" And I like I, I've, I've been like over the last couple of scenes or a, a couple of minutes this is happening. You've been seeing a, a sort of in the the camera showing the back of me where there's sparks going from my fingertips where I sort of believe it has to go through my hands, but when I sort of stand up and kind of jerk and kind of take the chair with me and just direct this lightning bolt arc out out of my head that zaps out at the uh, the, the closest enemy and then arcs from one to the other, and they all just get thrown back and knocked back and stunned. Okay, and so they all get stunned, the, the pastor included and the deacons? Yep. Yeah, so everybody just zaps them all. On the ground... Um, the, the water spills out, so uh, apparently there's no more uh, of that to go around. At least that's that's. Uh, is is there still a little bit in the file at all? Uh, yes, there's just a very small amount. I'm going to try to see if I can find the stopper for it and pocket it. Okay, you're able to find uh, a stopper. Um, you've got a very small amount. Just enough to maybe run Good some examples. Experiment. Yeah, yeah. Um, but in the meantime, you have the pastor and the deacons who are now knocked out uh, uh, below you. Okay. And now, and I, and I suppose you're all able to say um, that you are out of your restraints now that you don't have to worry about being sneaky. But who knows? Yeah. Who knows how many people are in the the other rooms of this fellowship hall? Well, with the pastor kicked out, I'm gonna get past. I'm gonna give him a swift kick in the dick as a goodbye present. So before <laughs> we leave the room. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I know how we. I know how we won't get caught by a car. We need to take one of the Deacon cars. Yeah, but wait, no, they'll know one of theirs is stolen. So that makes us a prime target then. Hmm. Why don't we? Uh, can we just take over the community center? We could probably do that too. How big is it? I don't know. Like, if uh, we can. The Fellowship Hall is probably the, um, it doesn't have uh, too many rooms in it. It's more just like a, a large community center room um, with a bunch of 
ancillary, you know, things along the outside for restrooms or confessional booths and that kind of thing. Uh, but it's probably the size of um, uh, like a gymnasium that you would have seen like uh, at high school pep rallies or something like that. Okay. Um, oh, so uh, I've totally seen a map of this uh, town before. And as uh, we're trying to decide, I was like, we can just take this. We can just. Like, and then I'll stop with like, guys, we can go to the incinerator. Nobody will look for us there. What if they, you know, turn it on? They, no, not inside of it, silly. The burning rooms. You know, where they were. Okay, so I had to. So one of my jobs when I was doing, uh, before all this happened, was that I had to burn old, uh, out-of-date, uh, history books. And, um, and I know, I know where the one is here, and, it, and, you know, if they're distracted looking for us elsewhere, they're never gonna look there. It could work. Could. Um, in the interim... I'm gonna go rifle through the deacon's yeah. the pastor's body to see if they have anything on them. They're not dead. Anything useful? Right? No, they're, they're passed out right now. I understand we've that. We've got handcuffs. We've got we've got yeah. four pairs of handcuffs that can be yes. placed right on them. Yes, yes let's repurpose these. Kick. See how they like it. Kick them right in the head. <laughs> Bell dresses up. As <laughs> oh, careful. Uh, to, yeah, yeah, and then yeah, let's let's rifle around this fucking place. Let's see, because I mean that pastor said he knew something, right? So yeah. let's see what we can find. Can we all just stuff them in the confession booth? Yeah. So so yes. first, what do you find on the deacons and the pastor that might be helpful? Cell phone. Oh yeah, cell phone keys. To, oh yeah, keys to where they keep all of the food. Ooh, yeah, supplies. We need supplies. Keys to uh, the pantry. Yeah, keys yeah. to the pantry. And first aid kits too, right? It's overall like a key Very ring first that aid gives us full access to the stuff no, that got locked up nearby. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so so basically like keys. Um, the, the deacons have these interesting like cruciform rods, right? They kind of, they're kind of crosses, right? And they, they have this little switch on them that you're not sure. Oh, the about. shock sticks. Yes, yeah. they had those at the hospital. I'm gonna pocket one of them. I think this one's for Bell. <laughs> Supercharge it. Deacons have one in the shape of crosses, right? Because like they're they're like all about the religious imagery here. All right, so you have the the keys to the pantry, cell phone, and you have these uh, these shock sticks. And then do we find any any and of course information, you have, any documents? You have their dress, like the way that these guys are dressed. You have their their clothing as well. Um, and what was that question, Oz? Do we find any documents lying around, like maybe an office that they might have? Yeah, it does look like there is some sort of administrative office, um, but it's pretty it's pretty sparse. This doesn't look like where they uh, where they they operate out of. This just seems to be some sort of um, side side place that they that they 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 don't want to sully where they where they worship with these sort of operations, right? So this is just where they eat. And, uh, and and where they interrogate people. <laughs> <laughs> um, I go take a peek in one of the confessional boxes. I'm kind of curious. You hear about them all the time, but you don't really see what's yeah. in it. Oh, and we can find like any of the. We need to find out what they were gonna, what they used to make people to confess. Yeah. yeah. Want to. In the meantime, Bell's sort of checking around their their systems here to see what their um. If they got any sort of broadcast uplink that I can <gasps> around with or tap into, it's, hey, it's been a while since I've got a broadcast out. I've got a couple oh, pre-recorded like... that we did on the road. Uh, get with the aliens! <laughs> no. Uh, and strike. Things. And strike will also be uh, graffitiing the entire uh, the entire room in a big mural. Uh. I'm oh. gonna get. I'm gonna get food and deodorant. That's what I'm getting. <laughs> it's gonna be. It's gonna be. Um, it's gonna be a big mural of the deacons with their robes up, like bent ah. over, with their robes up, bare ass, getting like fucked with their with their crucifix rods. 
Man, I'm so <laughs> glad I'm not there for that. That's so gross. We've left the family show rating. <laughs> we have a viewer discretions advised tag, guys. This is. I mean, we can make art imitate life or life imitate art. Yeah. No, no, no. All right. <laughs> Strike's not like that. <laughs> You do find uh, uh, food, plenty of food, uh, which is nice. You do find uh, some basic toiletries as well. So like deodorant for those who care about that. Oh my uh, God, toothpaste. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <shit>. Mother load. <laughs> because sometimes, because sometimes uh, traveling youth groups come by and, and use the fellowship halls to sleep in. So they have these toiletries and you're like, oh great. So. Um, and, and uh, you do find, um, as well, Bell, you find a place that they, uh, not anything that can broadcast, but you do find a place uh, where they listen to broadcasts. Uh, so it's incoming, but nothing outgoing. Um, uh, it appears that uh, they get some sort of uh, instructions each morning from some sort of central religious place. Uh, but you're not exactly sure, you know, there's just some, some basic instructions for how to put, uh, the, the plans into place. Uh, for those of you who are looking in the confessional booth, you open the confessional booth and what do you see? Um, I see kind of like a clockwork orange style setup there where it straps with the whole eye pry thing mm. where there's basically once you open it there's like a monitor on the inside of the door and there's multiple other monitors kind of situated in the booth and it's just static just visual jumping everywhere stuff that would make people that are epileptic have seizures but to the normal person it would just be a complete sensory overload a uh, few maybe, maybe you have to be on your knees the whole time to yeah to, oh, that's to type horrible type, type, like a uh, bit of lower. pain on top of it and just strapped yeah. down as they pump in god knows what into your system that just drive you to be completely nauseated and just watching scenes of unity and how their church is the greatest thing in your life and intermixed with various scenes of ultraviolence of people suffering for not being part of it and just yeah. as I said, the whole it's clockwork orange yeah. They soften yeah. you up uh, before they start asking questions. They just they just break you down before Bombard that. Bombard you, make you want to love unity, the Church of Unity again. Uh, oh my God, I can just imagine like the 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 the, the Sarah McLaughlin commercial with all the sad puppies. <laughs> 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 yes, and, and there's worship music playing <laughs> <laughs> going on. I don't know. Man. All right. Yeah. So, uh, is this the place that you feel like you want to camp out? Since you got what you wanted, you get to find a place to be safe. Is this that place, or are you going to take something, uh, take the cars, and and find a place? We could, we could, after we like ransack all of this stuff, we could find another place. Um, yeah, we could find well, like. Well, an old... Yeah, when's the next time this community think, um, would get used? How long do we have? I was about to say I, there I might be other the, um, people stopping by. Yeah, the next scene is, I think, we're screwed, which is uh, after we've won. So now it seems like we've won, that we found a bunch of supplies. Maybe we're loading up, like, a couple of vehicles are ready to take off. I say we um, just, then that's, then this sounds great. Let's hang out in the incinerator, like Unity said. That sounds like a great idea. <laughs> what can possibly go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like the incineration building. That's fine. And we can, like, hide out there. And then maybe like we can like sneak out uh, when people aren't around and go find where the office is so we can get those papers. And then once we get them, uh, we can like go through and, and figure out where we have to go find like yeah, so, find everything to, to so, save the world. So we drove this map to the incinerator building, leaving the um, the deacons and the pastor handcuffed. And we found this this place where we can lay low. One of us, uh, a couple of us, took the vehicle away. Uh, and like ditch it somewhere and came back on foot, snuck back. Yeah. A couple of the sneaky ones. Who did that? Me, probably. I uh, yeah. <laughs> and I would probably go too because I know what I'm looking for. Or I know where where we should look anyway. My so dad have, had a really big office with so papers have, everywhere. So do we have car keys to one of the hearses if we need to drive off? Yeah, yeah. You have um, the 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 pastor obviously has a car, and the deacons have their. Uh, they're, they're deacon. Hurts. Let's no. Let's steal the fucking pastor's car and total the fucking thing in a ditch. 
with it. I like the way you think. Yeah. <laughs> just fucking spray paint the shit out of it. Draw like giant veiny dicks all over it and just total it in a fucking ditch. Just I spend the rest of the injury. night. I spend the rest of the night giving <laughs> that entire car a makeover. I give it like <laughs> hot flame rods like coming off the sides, dicks, dicks everywhere. <laughs> Flaming dicks. <laughs> um so what really you into dicks, man. That's, that's a little uncomfortable. <laughs> like, what do you what? do with the past the deacons themselves? Let's see, we've got him handcuffed, but I guess we'd... Oh, we put him in the confessional, duh. Yeah, let's strap him into the fucking confessional and put on Barney. Yeah, because the <laughs> confessional booths are soundproof. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Strap so, okay, him in. You, you put them in the confessional booth and, and crank it up. Right, so put on Dora the Explorer some SpongeBob SquarePants and just oh, keep just on repeat. What? They don't have any of that these days. No, it's all that's, that's, that's heresy. Well, then give them a taste of their own medicine. Sarah McLaughlin crying over sad puppies. <laughs> <laughs> it's the uh, it's the union of all uh, version of Sarah McLaughlin. So it's uh, <laughs> uh, like it's like half as good and 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 you know none of the. Uh, None of the good parts. So, <laughs> so this feels this feels great for Strike. Like we're all finally just like blowing off some steam, sticking it to the fucking nan. This is right. great. You feel, you feel like you've you've accomplished something here. Like I mean, you've taken a fellowship hall, you've taken it over, and you're punishing uh, the deacon and one of the pastors. I mean, like you guys are. Yeah, guys are yeah. moving up in the world. Things are moving forward. Yeah. With the gymnasium, I mean, with all the drugs and shit that they have for the community booths, do they have like a side kind of like station to maintain and keep all that stuff that obviously Alice could set up at and maybe start running some tests on the little vial of whatever the fuck they threw at her? You tell me. Do they have that? I think they have a small table of some of the stuff, but nothing like extensive lab based like yeah, i want to say like of, they uh, can kits or that kind of thing but. yeah they, they have um the the sops on how to use the items so it should give Ooh. you enough information on like how on what it is based on you know like how when you pick up prescriptions they give you like the full documents of yeah, like everything right. about it like so that. i go so i go digging and try to find what's close to this vial what whatever the hell this vial is and i think i find a pamphlet on something labeled holy water yeah, uh, the the place where Cliff, uh, where where Bell found the um, the receiving transmissions, uh, there is also a little uh, nook that has some paperwork on that kind of holy water to be used only, you know, in extreme cases, you know, for uh, purging the demons, belligerent unbelievers, that kind of thing. Um, <laughs> and and essentially, the uh, the paperwork says this, you know, initial. Uh, initial application will cause uh, pain and disorientation. Uh, huh. But also, it says secondary effect. What's the secondary effect? Secondary effect is temporary diminishing of wrathful tendencies. There it's you almost go. Like, passive, passive uh, like forced pacifism. Yeah. Yeah, all right, there we go. A little and, bit of uh, opium in that fire water. Apply to skin. <laughs> That's, those are the instructions. Yeah. And you have you have probably not enough of it to work, but you have enough of it to maybe test out on a very small subject. Small subject. Small subject named Unity. Oh man! <laughs> <laughs> small by body weight. The, small by body weight. The little amount might work better on you than ours. But what are we even testing? The holy why? water. Can I show her the why pamphlet? Are you gonna, you're gonna burn me with holy water? Don't say it like that. All right. <laughs> but yes. So, <laughs> this, we, we've accomplished what we want to with scene yes. four. Now yes. we're gonna move on to scene five. This is scene five where you are forked. Uh, I'm going to choose. Um, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not good. I'm going to choose uh, uh, Strike's friendship question to Unity. 
<laughs> oh god, what I was that again? Angelic graffiti scene inspire me. Oh yeah, that's the one that I that I asked. The Unity to to strike. Yeah. Why did your angelic graffiti scene inspire me? Uh, There's another angelic graffiti scene. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and 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 the answer was that um, uh, Strike said that Unity was his inspiration for that scene. So having said that, um, it's up to you guys to try to figure out how that's going to uh, come into the scene. But what I want to say is, you have been. <laughs> hanging out in this uh, fellowship hall for about six days, right? Um, you oh, have graffiti just- Graffiti is everywhere. <laughs> it's everywhere. Uh, it's everywhere, but but one part, uh, maybe it's a different room or maybe it's just one selected part, is that certain angelic scene again, right? That you have decided that, you know what? Even in the midst of sticking it to the man, it's important yeah. to remember what we are fighting for. And here comes that that scene again that uh, that Unity appreciated so much the first time, um, and it if- is Saturday evening, and uh, you guys are just enjoying yourselves. You you have not ever had this much freedom, and uh, it is just a very <sighs> nice time of you sitting around. You are you've raided the um, the the stores of food, and you have found stuff to make s'mores. You have created a bonfire in the middle of the fellowship hall. Um, After I turned off the sprinkler system, the pastor and the deacons have been basically watching nonstop, like twisted <laughs> um, stuff for for six days. Uh, Are they you, even alive? You don't even know. You just you just let them we've just we've just we've just shut uh, the door and it, we can't hear anything anyways, right? Right. You Old can't. They're, they're, you know they out of probably, sight, out of mind. That's a little fucked up. But uh, messed their trousers many many times. They're hungry and, and who knows what they're doing. At oh, and I've I've totally graffitied all over them too. And all over got, them. They're like they've been high. Yeah, they've been high from all from huffing all the paint. Um, yeah. I, I don't feel, know where I, I got all this bad. fucking spray paint, but you know, <laughs> it's part of my supply. It's just convenient. If you wanted to have fed them, you have fed them. If you wanted to, you know, whatever. You've, yeah. You've, you've I mean, we're not, care. yeah, we're not going to kill him. No. Yeah. So, yeah, so, so, I, so I, I, I'm the one who feels like really, you know, the second day they're in there and I, you know, so I've been making sure that they uh, uh, have water and that I'll throw in like some random, like, you know, Pack, cracker packs and stuff so they can have something to eat and they're all like why are you doing this like well I don't want them to die here comes the airplane and like they yeah, have a target yeah. they have a target <laughs> that's just yeah. spray painted on their face and the bullseyes their mouth yeah. <laughs> and, so also they they are awfully passive right now right they are awfully like out of it and and very compliant drugged uh, the, uh, fucking hmm. drugged yeah their mind is is a little bit weird at the moment um not at all the the bluster that they had before but, uh, I, but you guys yeah. are having a good time you guys yeah. are sitting on the campfire eating s'mores i think that that um bell has been able to uh rig the uh the radio system to actually start broadcasting out in a very short range so um, he's been trying so hard to like meld the like the two truths together, and I don't know how successful you've been at it yet, Bell. But I know you're trying your best. Well, I've been uh, gathering up the various different parts that I can get to sort of wire wire up a transmitter for this. So I've been been getting things ready. I've I've been spending most of my time while people are like kind of partying it up and graffitiing the place and having s'mores. I've been just trying to get the tech up and running. For us to start broadcasting out of this place, because I know there's only a going to be a short time before we're going to have to run again. And meanwhile, what I like, plan to do is, I think uh, Alice's uh, message might actually be more palatable to regular people than the the the, the deep truth <laughs> they aren't ready to face yet. <laughs> so I'm kind of hoping to broadcast some of her stuff next time I do. Oh, and she's got all of her findings and her papers ready to go. I mean, she was a star pupil and a bit of a savant with her studies and chemistry and everything. So she she has a good idea of what all of this really is and really well detailed in a very kind of almost condescending manner. Like you would find with a 15 year old writing a fucking research paper like I know what's best and here's what it is. Freaking idiots. So, but it's all there still. Proof is um, the formula. 
as you're as you're talking about this, um, <laughs> Unity, your your eyes fall on that uh, that piece of of graffiti that that once inspired you, and you see it replicated uh, yeah. again. Yeah. What is strike. what does it make you feel? Strike has been uh, has been graffitiing. He's been on a ladder and he's been graffitiing it on the ceiling. He's like, I'm fucking Michelangelo, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, he steps down and it's like, it's totally finished. And it's, um, it's, it's unity with like big ass fucking cool angel wings. And it says unity can't be unity if it's against unity. <laughs> That's kind of awesome. That's so, oh my gosh. I like, I, I mean, I'm probably like almost, you know, shocked. Uh, it seemed like, you know, yesterday there was a, and now there's this thing and like, <gasps> And oh now the, the the robe that I have that I have Unity wearing is like just circling the room and it's just like it's like through all of the deacons getting fucked and like all the pastors that are like <laughs> spanking it and like all that like and they're they're all like wrapped in it or like holding it and like all looking like they're pissed off at, oh at the angel up in the ceiling. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> it's also like a little it? fucked up. Good though. Yeah, well, you oh know what the, fuck, what the fucking unity of all does is fucked up. As the uh, as this scene, you guys are just having a really good time. Uh, you're you're bonding. You're actually moving past some of the disagreements you've had, um, and, and you're feeling awfully hopeful about about where your future is headed. Um, and the pastor starts. Hey, thanks for the cheer. Something. He starts saying, "Oh no, it's time! It's time! It's time!" It's time. It just repeats it over and over. And over. Do we even what? hear that? <laughs> is it yeah, soundproof in the sound professional room? Room? <laughs> No, so, so, so maybe, I mean, maybe I Unity don't... goes to to yeah, exactly. food and he and he's just repeating it's time. And he's not and he's not eating anything because, like he's just continuing talking like guys, he's not eating. He just keeps saying that it's time. I don't I know what it's ready. time for. What? I have to get ready. It's time to prepare. Oh no, so soon? Oh, oh, they must have faster than light travel. They'll, they'll be here any minute. Oh my they'll be here any minute. Uh, oh my gosh. The invasion is to... about to begin. This is probably a sign we should probably make like a tree and get the fuck out of here. We should go. Uh, and it is at this point that uh, some lights from outside, you start seeing some, some headlights pull into the parking lot. Yeah, we really should get the fuck out of here, like, now. Strike grabs the, the pastor's Mod Michael car Angelo. keys. <laughs> the pastor's car keys, and he just whirls them around his fingers. He's like, let's do this. <laughs> yeah. Grab uh, everything. Let's bail. You take a peek outside the window, and it looks like maybe maybe 60 cars have started to pull into the... Oh, shit, son. That's a lot of cars. Oh, boy. <laughs> We need to go. We need to go a different way. Um, <laughs> and the first person opens up their car and goes to the trunk, opens up the trunk, and takes out a huge pot of macaroni and starts walking in. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we gotta fucking fail! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go out the back door, out the back door before anybody sees yeah. us. And then yeah. other people with, with hot plates and other people with, with soup. And, and other people, like, there's so many casseroles who don't know what to do. But it's, but it's the entire community. It's it's the rest of the deacons. It's it's other pastors in the area. It's, oh, my God. It's from all over the area coming for the... Oh, uh, no, 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 no. We got to get out of here. You have forgotten that the Saturday die. potluck was tonight. You were having such a good time. You totally forgot. I'm like I'm like hyperventilating right now. It's like, oh my gosh, yes, we got we gotta leave, we gotta leave right now. I grab Unity and I give her a firm slap, fucking snap out of it. We gotta do we go. Have every, do we have everything? Do we have everything? We got enough. Let's just go. It doesn't matter. Let's go. We fucking got our go bag. Let's go, 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 go. We we, we can't stay if they catch us. We're fucked. Cause yeah, we... there's pastors out there, and God knows how many of them have this holy water shit. We gotta go. Gotta we go. Loaded, we loaded up the deacon's uh, vehicle, the trunk, with which should be at least a week's worth of supplies. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Grab okay. your go bags. Go bags. 
Let's go. So, so like everybody is like getting all this like you preparing and running around, and all you need stand there and look up at like the gorgeous pig like figures that that, that uh, Strike has has done. I'm running over to Unity and just kind of like potato sacking her over my shoulder and like <laughs> hauling her out the back. Okay, yeah. you uh, you kick the doors open uh, to to get out and you you crash the door into someone. The door opens up and smacks this woman right in the face. She falls down. Her casserole spills over where she's 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 probably seventy, right? And this this casserole goes everywhere, all over her. She's covered with what looked to be some sort of fish and and lemon thing. Uh, and uh, right next to her is no. a demon who says, "Mom, what?" I what reach is this? down slowly and, then, and grab a bite of the fish. <laughs> what I would like to see is is this uh, group of a hundred or so people Jesus. just overwhelm you and uh, and and bring you in uh, once and for all, put you in jail. Oh, so they want to put us in okay. jail for, for obvious crimes. Uh, one to see what you've done to the fellowship hall. That there wasn't us. There Clearly it wasn't us. We just stumbled on this. It's fine. We want, uh, our hope me. is to take the graffitied as fuck pastor's car, do donuts in front of the whole community and drive <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we want a considerable amount of the congregation to think we were cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So choose, choose one of those things. Yeah, you want to be cool and get away, right? That's, that's yeah. kind of yes. bringing it down. Okay, that's what we want. So uh, just get before we cool before we get it. started, I wanna I wanna thank Palmer for becoming stream boss twice and giving the click two rerolls. So right now it's authority one click two. Fuck yeah. oh, yes. Palmer, okay. I love you. Thank you for all the donating. Avenzi, you don't even know how good your lemon fish casserole is, so don't knock it. Um, uh, it's delicious, by the way. Don't fucking knock it. You hate her. Just because you don't so like seafood. That's a, that's a great name for this episode. Um, <laughs> cool, what? Don't <laughs> knock it till you try it? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, uh, I mean, that's 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 like a lot of the graffiti art on the wall, I guess, maybe. <laughs> okay, so who's going to stand up? I'll stand up. You're all scared children. <laughs> I'm stupid. Right. Unity's gonna stand up. Yeah, I'm Roll gonna stand up. Okay. <sighs> Roll them bones. Whew. Okay. Four. <sighs> okay. Right, there's nothing on the struggle board, so, I mean, first play is clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know, um, I just I wanted a better number. <laughs> All right, go. So, okay, Are you all right. Gonna keep that roll. I mean, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, we'll keep it. We're good. We've got two rerolls, man. Don't, yeah, don't cool. try us. We're not gonna waste it now. Fine. So, um, I am going to. Uh, so, so I have to pick one of my things, right? My. Yes, you pick one I, of your conditions now. Okay, okay. Uh, then I am going to pick fast. Okay. So tell and us fast to. Uh... So I am going to fast talk and explain very quickly that somebody is a. We've been trapped in there for six days. So they've been keeping us hostage, and we have to. Finally, we're able to 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 get them away. We've locked them into the pantry, and they've been they've been. They've been doing horrible things to the deacons and to and to the pastor. And oh my gosh, I'm so glad you're here. You go, go quickly, go tell them that they're they're safe. We have to, you have to help us. You have to help them. So oh, yeah. so the 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 deacon after he helps his mother up and he introduces her as Eunice, uh, and he says, uh, oh Sorry, well, I mean like you know, thank you for 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 pointing us out. Where did you say these people were? They're in, he, we've lo we've locked them in the pantry. He goes to the pantry. Is this where the deacons and the pastor are? Oh, no, no, they're still in the confession booth. They're still locked yeah. in their confession booth. Soundproof, so, yeah. 
The pantry he, was a distraction. Walks in the fellowship hall and is just overwhelmed by by what's happened here. Uh, he is he is totally caught off guard. But at this point, he hears this banging coming from the confession booth, and, and the door goes, has the door has graffitied on it the fucking truth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he hears this banging, and he gets his he gets his shock stick out, and he cautiously opens the door and sees his pastor and two of his friend deacons just like blubbering idiots talking about it's time and we'll be good we'll be good uh and he turns around like what Stan, will you hold on right there what have you done and we didn't uh, do anything it's the people of the pantry <laughs> and, and now everybody they're, they're not they're not about to let you leave now uh they, you've got some questions to answer uh and so they're going to claim uh seven and eight <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> Get the rolls ready. All right. Land on eight, though. So. They uh, they make a move to uh, to start crowding around you. Like it's getting a little bit crowded uh, in the foyer where you are. Oh my God. Uh, I'm I gonna stand, stand up. up. Ooh, oh, okay. You stand up. Yeah. You go. You go. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab Unity and Alice. I'm gonna grab Hold Alice on, off roll the, the fish. dice first. Uh, that's right. Delicious. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus. What I got? I'm just what I got? still picking it a off of her shirt. I got a ten. Alright, so I'm gonna use really I'm gonna use my uh my thrills. And I'm gonna I'm gonna grab <laughs> I'm grabbing Unity and Alice. I'm just like we gotta go! And I'm just and like once I've once I've got them like running towards the car, I've just got my middle fingers up in the air running. <laughs> turn get the car get hop in the car literally actually i skid on the car's hood to get to the other side get in the driver's seat and i pull so i fucking gun it <laughs> wait 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 what about what about what about bell where is bell i see bell on the road and i'm like quick get in <laughs> he's running as fast um, as he can so you, some equipment. You start going... uh, pulling out, uh, and and everybody is just like they just can't wrap their mind around. What's <laughs> so far out of the norm for a. Snap <laughs> that, that everybody's kind of in stunned silence, and they're also holding their dishes, like so, thinking somehow this is all going to make sense in a moment, and they don't want to let their dishes go to waste. Like, like oh, we're still going to have to eat. Right, so nobody is actually is actually like moving quickly. <laughs> uh, but once they see that Bell is actually taking equipment out of the fellowship hall <laughs> and, uh, and trying to shove it in the in the Wienermobile, uh, Wiener. now, they're, 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 now the they're putting pieces together, and uh, and all of a sudden, potluck food starts flying. Um, <laughs> People are throwing dishes at Bell to try to injure him. Uh, ah. And one of these, one of these potluck dishes, uh, a, 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 a plastic, or not a plastic, but a ceramic square um, uh, bowl, just beans you right in the head, and you drop all the equipment everywhere. Oh, oh no! And, and now you have to choose between hopping in the car or taking that equipment, seemingly. Um, as as people are now coming to, to throw even more stuff at you, I'm at going to point. claim. Um, I'm going to claim two. Oh, and by the, way, the chat is having an amazing discussion about potlucks. Yeah. Um, <laughs> also, I just have to say, scrim Nanaimo bars are fucking life, and it took me forever to learn how to pronounce that once I immigrated to Canada. It's Nanaimo, Nanaimo. I, I, I don't know. They're delicious. <laughs> They're creamy. They're amazing. I want them. <laughs> At this point, Bell is sort of on his hands and knees, one hand sort of feeling in his head, looking around in a daze, and kind of up at the car, driving away, and at the equipment, people throwing things. He just, he hasn't put two and two together about someone throwing at him and hurting him like this. Right, you've, you've got and an strike, enchilada, like, on your face, right? And yeah. Strike sees this, Strike sees this in his, uh, in his rearview mirror, and he's like, fuck! And he, like, rotates this, like, 180 Cranking degrees, all this break. dust. 
all this street does is just getting kicked <laughs> up in the air as he's just like trying to gun it back for Bell. Oh my god. Uh, who's gonna stand up? Uh, I'm gonna stand up. By the Do way, what you're, what you're seeing in the background, right? Like when, when when the scene starts, what you see in the background is like of all the kids who aren't carrying stuff, they're just watching this scene unfold and you you don't know why exactly, but they can't help but smiling at what's going on. Like this is this is something they've never seen before, <laughs> and, and and something inside of them is like I didn't know that life could be this exciting, and and since life is normally so boring, this is so great. And I don't know what's happening. I don't know exactly how scary it is because it's kind of scary when you think about it in retrospect. But still, these kids are like bright eyed and just watching this with sort of a, a weird glee. Go ahead. Who's standing up? Me. Okay. So, nice. all right. The struggle bus continues. Six. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's a good number. Good number. <laughs> all right. So I'm oh going to use my smart. I'm going to use my wits here. And as Oz is donutting this fucking car, just like giving her right in the parking lot of the... Um, the community that are there, Alice is gonna kind of start to lean out the window using her core muscles to like reach for a casserole dish and bean somebody in the head <laughs> as she's spinning by and extends her hand, taking out one of the uh, stun batons and just starts swatting at the crowd like flies as she goes and screams at Belle to get to the fucking car, fending off people as we're trying to maintain our spot in the center, taking another casserole dish as it comes flying and beaning the next old lady in her face with fucking enchilada. Donutting, just donutting. <laughs> we're kicking up all this dust. <laughs> And she's just using her smarts knowing that the centrifugal force will keep her, like, nice in place and just using that stun baton for everything that it's worth. So you're just, you, you've you gotten a, a, a casserole dish and you've started beating people with it and you're <laughs> everybody. You're hanging out in this car doing during, doing loops and you're just... You're just something out of some, uh, some amazing action movie. Um, <laughs> knowing... Knowing that the centrifugal force of us just spinning around is going to keep me nice and firmly planted as that do on that door as Oz is just ripping it out, I'm screaming in the car, DON'T STOP SPINNING! <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, this is awesome! <laughs> uh, the members, uh, along with their potluck offerings, like, keep dropping, you know what I mean? Like, they just they get scared, you know, and the kids in the back just, like, holding their hair, like, what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> and it is, it is at this point where where uh, one of the deacons, actually the pastor, and a couple of deacons say, "Norma, let's let me have your biscuits." And, <laughs> and, and, over, and to this to this little this little woman, uh, and she got this bag full of biscuits, and they start taking these biscuits and they start hurtling them at you. And it turns out like a couple of them hit the car and they like go thunk, right? Like, and you go, oh my God. Oh, Norma, she doesn't know how to fucking cook. Yeah. <laughs> Those biscuits are, are, they seem deadly now that you're <laughs> and, and One of them hits you in the hand and you just, oh, oh, you drop the stun baton. Uh, and and one of them uh, gets gets uh, lodged in in. Uh... <laughs> this is so silly. Having <laughs> 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 this food fight. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, oh no, stuff a shack to be found though. Shadowrun's got nothing on this man. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, one of them uh, hits the uh, the tire of the car in such a way that it kind of bounces you a little bit uh and now rather than being perfectly balanced the shots uh, are horrible you are I'm now thrown out the fucking window yeah not yeah you're you're just you kind of hit that bump and then you just land like right on your coccyx uh and your your ass is just like ah, ah, ow. uh but now you've got two people uh of your team laying on the ground while you do donuts which now the donuts seem like Maybe that's not such a good idea. Yeah, because <laughs> I wrecked my people over. Um, so you you've got Fuck. you've got some decisions to make, and I'm going to claim uh, uh, 12, right? eleven. 
Oh, you got to 12 already. I just oh, I got to 12. Yeah, okay. just put it down. Sounds I, good. I jumped, I jumped ahead. <laughs> okay, cool. Right, uh, so who's going to stand up now? I'm going to stand up. He's literally going to stand up because he got knocked on the... Yeah, Bill <laughs> sort of sees what takes in this scene, like looking around, there's the tinnitus sound overcoming everything. That he's like looking around and sees the enchiladas in the ups and upturned uh, casserole dish in front of him and holds up a hand to his face and comes away with an enchilada in his hand. Just, <laughs> Whoa! And then and then sees the the the, 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 the uh, things starting to get tossed and one of them hurts uh, Alice I think and the like, stands up and says, no and I uh sort of to go running up kind of toward the car and I just start well I, I have to roll damn it so, yeah you gotta roll man oh yeah, yeah. hey stop narrating uh oh re- seven no re-roll oh, re-roll. re-roll use a re-roll I rolled an eight. Oh, no, no use a re-roll again we have another no, one we have another one all right another no, re-roll no, no. a seven no, no! <laughs> just blew our re-rolls no, no. Seven, eight, seven, Why no. did I stand up? Now it's my fault. Ah. Oh no! <laughs> Horseshit! Fuck! Oh. <laughs> we are not getting caught. We're going I'm to jail, man. Out. The bell. Oh, you're what selling out. Are you selling? <laughs> right, hold on here. Um, <laughs> normally I'm pretty optimistic about stuff, but that person throwing the enchilada casserole at my head—that pissed me off. I'm selling out optimism for cynical. All right, Ooh. and I'm just like just, I'm don't stepping up, here. and I just suddenly like oh I I like I I get just ticked off when I see when I see my friends on the ground and we're, we're just trying to have fun, right? I mean, you got to get out of here. These people want to have their potluck, but they want to throw stuff at us. It's just I just say it's not fair, and I just start zapping. Initially, just the um. The biscuits that are coming in, like just, <laughs> <laughs> and they're already so dry. And they're in. just <laughs> they're busting into like like the <laughs> dust. And, <laughs> and then I, I just sort of stand fireworks. This is, this is the wrath of God, you <laughs> stupid motherfuckers! You're all gonna die. <laughs> and what I mean at the time is that they're all gonna die with the aliens invade. This doesn't come through with my wild, the crazy hair sticking up. <laughs> Like seems like you're stuff the out. Right? <laughs> and this, this, like, bolt of energy that flies up in the sky. It looks like the place just got hit by lightning, but it really just came out from me, like, just straight up into the air. And it blinds everyone momentarily. In the confusion, we're able to get in the car and get the hell out of there. Oh, my God. And, and yeah, those kids think that was so freaking yes. cool. And we yes. got away and we got to <laughs> Freaking a fucking <laughs> enchilada lady beamed me in the head. She could have killed me. I'm fucking you're taking some fucking biscuits nuts. and throwing them out the window as we're speeding away. Oh, yeah, so <laughs> I, I take aim at Eunice and I fucking just beat her in the face. Yeah. And like, Your fish fucking sucks. <laughs> yeah. So so he's going through his spit. Like I I'm 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 up shotgun. I hop in the back. I open both doors up. I'm like get in the car. Get in the fucking car. <laughs> <laughs> you, you drive away in the um, in the phallus mobile, and uh, the Oscar Mayer Wiener mobile, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the scene ends with uh, five kids. They're about uh, age six to eleven, and uh, they're all standing there, and they've got like they're all like they've they've been munching on the desserts, right? Like like in the confusion, the Nanaimo like, bars were not thrown, right? And they're like they're like eating like this and just watching this, and they're like. That was so fucking cool. <laughs> <laughs> One of the moms yeah. smacks him upside the head, like, shut up! <laughs> yeah, that's the final, the final thing in the scene is the mom saying, What did you say? And then the scene. <laughs> I think now's a great oh. time to take a five minute break. Yes, five yeah. or ten. Do uh, <laughs> you want ten or do you want five? I don't know, it depends. I don't care. Ten minute break in the middle. Ten break? Yeah. <laughs> Palmer Jim says, uh, if we do a sequel to this, then you guys are going to be those kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Start the scene by eating the Nanaimo bars. <laughs> <sighs> All right, guys. So, okay. uh, so yeah, let's take a 10 minute break. We'll be right back for scene six and seven. Oh, my God. All okay. Right. <laughs> 
<laughs> Shit, that was awesome. Uh, the whole potluck theme was just brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>